What is up everyone, Casey here and welcome back to the channel. So today we have a new first impressions video for you and that is for Mary Skelter Finale. So Mary Skelter Finale is the third game in the Mary Skelter series that follows the events of Mary Skelter Nightmares and Mary Skelter 2. And before we jump into the review, I do want to thank Keymailer and Idea Factory for the review copy. I really appreciate that. So basically the Mary Skelter series... Uh, the first two games follow the main characters, Jack and Alice, as they escape from a jail cell with the help of a powerful group of girls known as the Blood Maidens. And it turns out that their entire city has been absorbed by a creature known as the Jail. And it's been releasing hostile creatures known as Marchins. I hope I didn't butcher that. Um, to attack everyone. And basically, Jack realizes that he has the powers to assist the Blood Maidens, so he joins forces with them to escape. And that takes us through the first two games and into this, this one, when they finally escape the jail and enter a new area that is even worse, apparently. Um, so for those of you who have not purchased or had the opportunity to play Mary Skelter Nightmares or Mary Skelter 2. If you get the physical version of Mary Skelter 2 for the Switch, it also comes with the first game for free. Um, as far as the digital, I believe that you have to buy them separately. But if you're not looking uh, to purchase them right away, you can go ahead and use the Before Story selection, which gives you the in-game cutscenes for both the first and second games. So you can go ahead and watch those and then get into the third game to truly understand the plot. And basically these games are first person dungeon crawling RPGs. Um, kind of like Etrian Odyssey or Labyrinth of Reefering. And um, we have covered one of, the, one of those types of games on the channel previously. And that was the Labyrinth of Galeria, which is the sequel to Labyrinth of Reefering. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and jump into the game here. So for this review, we're just going to go with easy mode. And we do have a bunch of DLC here that has been installed. So let's skip past all of these. So here we see Jack as they make it outside. So the the beginning part of the prologue, uh, there was no real, there was a lot of information and a lot of uh, text scrolling that had no um, voice acting. So we're going to basically skip around in this video. So there are sections that are kind of going to skip around um, because there is a lot of information and a lot of visual novel type content uh, cutscenes that are in the beginning. Um, so we don't want to miss the gameplay or make the video too long. Everyone is. Already right off, though, I do like the character models. I do like that they have uh, English voice acting as well. That's absolutely wonderful. My princess, look away. This is... This is so... Everywhere we looked, there were dead bodies. We couldn't have seen it from underground. And also, guys, if you knew anything about Mary Skelter Finale, you would know that these games are horror RPGs and very bloody, gory horror RPGs at that. Uh, which is my cup of tea. I love horror. I love RPGs. So put them all together, and I love it. Um, but it may not be for everyone. What the hell? No one warned us about this. Um, are you okay, Sleeping Beauty? It's okay. Close your eyes. Get some rest. I thought by now I'd be used to seeing corpses, but this stench is gonna make me sick. Everyone, look up! Up? The sky is red and hazy. What does it mean, Jack? No, it's not haze. It's... Wait, is this a, a jail tower? so tall, but its shadow is taller. How big can it be? The underground jail's almost cute in comparison. So instead of the actual underground jail from the first two games, now it, throughout this game you go into uh, what's called jail towers. Wait, is that jail floating? 
How does that even work? Do these ivies have something to do with it? What are we to do? Maybe we should investigate. So basically, we're leaving hell and literally going into something that's even worse than hell. If you can imagine Unless that. Unless you'd like to join that pile of corpses. What are you implying? But isn't it obvious? These bodies didn't fall here naturally. Take a look. It looks like an offering to the jail tower. An offering, huh? Makes sense. Perhaps that girl had something to do with it. Girl? Doesn't look like she's just passing by. She's wearing machine armor with blue flames. Oh, that's peculiar. She looks like us. Hey, another one's approaching. Apologies for my sudden intrusion. My name is Guillotine, the Scaffold of Massacre Pink. Scaffold? Sounds ominous to me. To the point. I believe there to be a girl named Alice among your ranks. Would you mind identifying her for me? How does she know Alice's name? Alice, something suspicious. Stand back. Jack? Perfect. There you are. What the? She moved in the blink. So you are Alice. So, so what if I am? So I'm assuming this Massacre Pink must be the antagonist organization that you have to fight against, maybe? Well, a case of mistaken identity would spell trouble for us both. What a relief to have found you. Well then, the rest of you, I bid adieu. I just finished tidying up. There's always light work for idle hands. Stop it! Why are you doing this to us? She's not listening! We gotta stop her! Hold on, Jack! She's too dangerous for just you! L look at her speed! N not faster than me, of course, but wow, she's quick! Someone help! Goodness! Time to take out the garbage. Shoot, she's going berserk. My princess, stay back. Your life depends on it. What else, Sue? Everyone, they're... <laughs> Another one bites the dust. I won't let you. Do you mind? I'll do. I'll fight too. Princess, watch out. This bastard is no ordinary foe. Ugh, I hate when prey resists. Would you just shut up and take it? How dare you treat our lives like junk? I'll never forgive the likes of you! Forgive? Why would I need your forgiveness? No need to ask twice! <laughs> ah! Otsu! What are you doing to Otsu? She should have minded her business. I'll save her for later. <gasps> they're, they're too strong! The Martians never prepared us for this! It is Martians, I was right. <laughs> ah, run for it! My, while I was distracted from taking out the trash, the others ran off. It seems my method of disposal is inefficient. No, you can't! She'll kill everyone! Oh, little mermaid! Those girls are targeting everyone who's fleeing! They're trying to clean out the place! Hey, let's brace ourselves. You're right. We may not win, but we can't let them get away with murder. Hoped you'd say that. I was getting tired of watching. Escape might be possible if we divert one's attention. Stopping them now might be tough, but at least we can buy the others time. Let's... Yeah, yeah. On me, everyone. Oh, where are you off to? Where did she come from? Honestly, do you think any of you stand a chance against me? My, my. Saving you for later must have given you false hope. Leave the waste disposal to me. Everyone, watch out! Alright, here we go. So we're finally into battle here. So I really like... So the battle screen is very busy, as you can see. So we've got the turns, 
the turns of the different characters at the top, um, it looks like you can have up to five people in the party at one time. HP, SP, um, the different abilities. Okay. Attacks are basically doing nothing. <laughs> I'll try. Do it. Stay focused. Okay, so all the characters have some sort of magic or skill, uh, as well as physical attacks. This should do it. Thank you so much, Jack. My turn. So it, it it's, it's basic first person dungeon crawler combat. I'll do this. But there are different aspects that come to the game later, I'm sure. Um, every every RPG like this has them. So this is obviously a battle that we cannot win. That's pretty evident. I'll do this. Wow, she made short work of all of us. <laughs> She's tough. I couldn't get one measly hit in. It might be over. Oh well, will we die? We all risked our lives to come this far. Surely you should be dead by now. Perhaps you aren't trash. Oh dear me, pardon my manners. I needn't fret over this. Everyone, just a second ago, everyone was alive, smiling. Seems I've disposed of nearly everyone. The time for mercy is over. Clara! Huh? Clara, are you okay? Clara! <laughs> I won't let you. What the hell did you say? I said cut it out, you bastard. What's gonna come of all this murder? You done? Feeling brave? Flapping that mouth of yours? I've... You should be begging us to kill you. Accept your death with some dignity. You will pay for your defiance. Isn't that the character development? All the characters are very different. Whatever. And I really like Done that in an RPG. Best. They're not basically carbon yeah. copies. I won't let you. Uh. Alice, I won't let you harm Jack. Get back, Alice. If you fight with your injury, they'll kill you. No, I refuse to step back. She's trying to kill Jack, and I'm going to make her pay. Alice. You want me to chop off that pretty head? As much as it pains me, Master specifically ordered me not to kill you. Oh, what to do? Everyone, close your eyes! Like... What the... What's going on? It's... Hikari! Longer will I stand and watch. Everyone, I've got her pinned. Okay, let's take down Guillotine and help the rest of the survivors. <laughs> Damn you! Insolent trash should know its place. <laughs> Sounds like you are getting desperate. Man, that was so. I don't like the sound of that roar. Ah! Hikari, 
Hikari. You fool. There's so I'm many fine. characters, so this many blood maidens. <laughs> what the? Where did this spear come? Ugh, I'm finally free. So, this still okay. You give me your necklace first. This is my mother. Oh, that's so. Can't help it. It's an heirloom. Oh no no! It's over rock. <laughs> no, that was too easy. <laughs> Actually, never mind. Don't. Wow, Massacre Pink's team are very sadistic. <laughs> like. Oh, look at that presentation. And I love oh, their designs as well. The, the grays and blacks. And with the blue accents, like make they really make them stand out. I'm about to look. Don't squeeze me. <sighs> Refreshing. Human blood has a certain genesis quality. You're in trouble, Jack. They're going on a spree again. <sighs> I can finally move now. I can't believe she got me. If Master finds out, he won't be happy. You won't get away. You won't, you won't, you won't! Damn it! I won't let you snatch it, Kari! Mamaru! Won't let you! Get out of my way! <laughs> She's so fast! Go, go, go! Die, 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 you bastard! <laughs> Alice! How dare you attack Alice! What part is out of my way? Don't you bastards understand? Alice! Sleeping Beauty, okay. I said it's a what? <laughs> that bitch. She okay, so there's a Jack, lot of good please. things going on. Like a, a lot of, I Even really like the yes, scene you. so far. Alice, you know I can't. It. Let's see if we can't get through some of it though. I want to get to some other gameplay. Okay, so it looks like we are in the first jail tower. Okay, so it looks like we can select... Uh, different characters. Let's do Jack first. No, nope, we can't do that Jack yet. Okay, Clara then. Welcome. So then a party select. So we can select uh, different sections have different parties of characters. That's actually pretty cool. It makes sense because there are so many Blood Maidens and, and so many different um, main characters in the game that you have to kind of split them up. God, it's a mountain of bodies. There's easily... Th okay, so now we can... Let's get that. started. I can see why you would literally sink so many hours into this game because it's very story heavy and there's a lot of scenes. Thank you. 
Okay, so here we have our menu. So Jack and Otsu have our different skills. So you have your basic menu, your equipment, your skills, settings, party, status, library, system. So our new objective is to save Little Mermaid. So there's a save point, moving floors, exit, battle event, and dialogue. Like? So we also have a shop as well, where we can buy um, different items for battles, restorative items. Is there any? So definitely basic exploration and combat. Ow. In a first person dungeon crawler. Okay, so also the elements have different weaknesses and strengths. Trying to get to a fight here. Sticky spear. Change parties. Ow. 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 Stay focused. Been another way to get out. Let's start my turn. My turn. My turn. Ah! Leave it to me. I'll do this. The creatures are like pretty creepy looking, honestly. Leave it to me. Okay, so basically, 
we can choose different uh, parties on the fly, looks like. Wow, this looks like a character from. Uh, hey, sisters. Was there something you wish to tell pink, me? Though. So, why is she. Maybe she eventually becomes a party Wait, member. Sister Guillotine. traps and the floors that's pretty awesome okay all right let's go okay so it literally picks up Right where you left off with each character. That's Ow. that's good to know. Ow. soundtrack the the music is is pretty good it's not some of the best i've ever heard Ow. Ow. but it's it's Ow. pretty decent so far all right guys i think we could probably go ahead and, and discuss the game now um we've already seen the dungeon layouts we've seen combat uh, we've heard some of the soundtrack. We've seen the different scenes and character models. Uh, we've seen just a little bit, of, just a little bit of everything about the game so far. I know there's probably more mechanics to come on later, but there's a lot of information that's packed in just the beginning hour or so in the game. So as far as gameplay, I, I really, I really enjoyed the gameplay. The, the first person dungeon crawling. I'm not, not someone who is well versed in first-person dungeon crawlers um i i've only played uh, a little bit of a couple this being one of them and like i said uh labyrinth of galeria the sequel to labyrinth of refrain i've also tried that out and reviewed on the channel so if you'd like you could check out that video but from what i've seen so far i really like it there's so many different party members and so many different skills and i like how there's uh, this diverse group, this diverse cast of characters who are really well fleshed out, uh, really well developed, and they're all, like I said, they're not carbon copies. They're all very, very much individuals. Like they're not, <laughs> they're not very similar to each other. We'll say they're all very different, uh, all very different characteristics. Uh, I really like that because a lot of games basically copy and paste a lot of characters and just kind of tweak them a little bit um but that the cast is very diverse for this game i feel like and you know obviously these characters are taken from the first two games so um i will have to 
get the first two games in the future and look into getting those. Because uh, I would like to, before fully immersing myself into this game, I would like to play the first two games first. Uh, I could read or watch the cutscenes or look at the light novels for these games and then play Finale. But I, I would much rather get the game hands-on and actually play them for myself all the way through. Um, I do know that this game is pretty long. Uh, to fully immerse yourself and to complete this game, it would be over 100 hours. I think you can beat the story around 50 hours, 45 to 50 hours. So, there is definitely a good length, a good chunk of gameplay there. Um, the soundtrack... Um, it's pretty good. Nothing's like really leaping out at me yet. Um, I'm sure as you play on through the game, though, there are probably some better tracks, especially battle tracks are usually um, pretty good for these types of games. Um, the story, I think the story is well thought out. I really like it. And the fact that it's an RPG, uh, a turn-based RPG at that, with uh, horror elements. Um, I'm a huge, huge horror fan. Love blood, love gore. Um, as well as RPGs, so to put those in together is a really great mix, and I think um, Idea Factory has made a really great series of games that incorporates the RPG and horror elements, because most of their games, um, I grew up playing a lot of Hyper Dimension Neptunia, and that's like one of my favorite series, and Fairy Fencer, uh, Fairy Fencer games, I love those as well. Um, so I grew up playing those, and I really enjoyed those characters and those stories. So this is completely different, um, I feel like, for them in terms of a genre. And for them to do actual horror with the RPG elements, um, I, I just think that's fantastic. And I can't wait to go through all three games and play them, definitely. Uh, they would be good games to stream and or make playthroughs for, I think. But that's... Uh, that's pretty much what I think on the different aspects of the games, guys. I think I'm going to give uh, Mary Skelter Finale. I think I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 for first impressions. Um, I'm, I'm very pleased with what I saw in the game, and it's very story heavy. And I typically really love it, a very good story. So, um, again, I want to thank Keymailer and Idea Factory for giving me the chance to play this game. I really appreciate it. I will definitely have to try and pick up the first two games on the Switch eventually. Um, hopefully I can get that physical copy uh, that has both games in it. I do love my physical copies of games. Um, but you can also purchase Mary Skelter Finale. Um, it's on Steam. Recently just released on Steam in September. Um, you can also get it on Nintendo Switch, uh, PS4, and PS5. This is the PS4 version. So I want to thank you guys for checking out the video today. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.